The accusations against British actor Russell Brand has reportedly revealed how bad behaviour was historically tolerated in the TV industry. The comedian has denied wrongdoing, following allegations of rape, sexual assault and emotional abuse. Now, I think you should theme the party <laughs> around legal sex. Speaking on his BBC radio show back in 2007, an interaction between Russell Brand and a female caller about to turn 16. Right, but you are 16 years of age. With countless clips now surfacing of Brand being inappropriate on air, questions now for those who employed him about whether complaints went ignored. Morning, Mr. Morning. Davies. Good Morning. News. Just very good. to talk to you about Mr. Brand. Well, I'll be making my comments inside, actually, so thanks very much. Attending a conference for broadcasters, Director General Tim Davey, who back then, a couple of months before Saxgate broke, was made the corporation's director of audio. So you don't regret that more wasn't done at the time? I always look back with hindsight when you hear things coming out and you go, could you have done more? Could you have asked more? We're all asking those questions. Mm -hmm. While the BBC has promised the results of its internal investigation within weeks, so far Channel 4 says it's found no paper trail of anything being flagged. Channel 4's managing director describing allegations of Brand's predatory behaviour as disgusting and saddening. We've set up a process for people to contact us anonymously if they need to. They're not empty words or gestures from all of us. They are what is meant by our duty of care. Brand himself has painted what's happening as a dark conspiracy, questioning why women are speaking out now. Dr Tessa Dunlop can understand around that same time she was given an NDA by a broadcaster for calling out inappropriate behaviour by a manager. When I brought forward my complaint, I was told this is a macho culture, but it's one that's very good fun. The individual in question, yep, reputation for having an eye for the ladies, but shut up and put up. They have their own ecosystem, and if you start prodding at that or disturbing it as a whistleblower, you're going to alienate all the individuals and employees who depend on that. Dropped by a wellness festival he was set to headline in Australia, and with Acast, the world's largest independent podcast company, following YouTube's lead and turning off his ability to make money from ads, the backlash against Russell Brand continues. Katie Spencer, Sky News.